Go right. There's an incident ahead. Car on your left. Clear on the left. I'm about to show you my worst experience in iRacing, and I've done it completely to myself. So I've had a two-year break. If you want to know exactly why YouTube made me quit, or the, the reasons for having two-year break, you can click the video up in the top corner, probably that side, and watch that after here. But I did this all to myself. I haven't been on Road America for a long time, so I did like 20 to 30 laps. Trying to work out exactly how to handle each corner in the Lambo GT3 for Road America, what gear to be in, things like that. And I end up putting this thing on P2, the first row, for qualifying. And everything about it was super smooth. There was no real carnage uh, in my area because every, everyone was behind us. First place pulled away. I couldn't really keep up with him, but I also pulled away from the pack behind me. So it was pretty much just a drive it to the finish type deal. And then it all unfolded. And you're going to see right now how that went. Right side, still there, hold your line, clear. Go right, there's an incident ahead, car on your left, clear on the left. You've got wheel damage. But that is not where our story ends with this. I'm not going to leave it on a bad note like that until next season when Road America GT3 comes around again. That's three months away. We're going to redeem ourselves right now. So here we go. It's the next day. GT3 in the Lamborghini. We're going to do this thing properly. And we're not going to stop until we have a decent result. But for that to happen, we really haven't put ourselves in a good position. Qualifying right in the middle of the pack. The stakes are high on this one. Really, we're gonna go down into the realm of getting demoted if we are to collect high instant points on this one. So we're in the middle of the pack, which is the worst place to be for incidents to happen. Like it's just where all the crashes happen. Brutal track, fixed sprint in the GT3s. Number six in front of us, we are the number five car. Six is right in front of us, he's our arch nemesis. And seven is down three places behind us. So either side. Is our real battle. Green flag, green flag. A gap to pack behind, but we do have Nestor just in front. Car right. Clear on the right. Car right. Clear. Car right. Clear. Very cold tires. Just want to kind of single file for the moment. Don't want to be going side by side. Get into a bit of a rhythm. So should have a okay toe here. We'll off the throw us a little bit. We don't have to normally, but just cause the car's really heavy. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. No drama so far from what I can tell, first lap. Extraordinary Road America. Okay, one lap done. The gap behind us, that's really, really good. What a battle pack we have in front. Hopefully they start uh, doing something. Might be on for a move here. Go right. 
He was too concerned about us. We gained one, lost one though. Oh, punted off, number nine, hit on number two, and he's actually giving the position back. It's quite kind of him, or has he got complete damage? He's just, he can't believe he's done this, is what's going on. Oh, we got the number 20, Ferrari here, a little bit too much curb, and drew it into the fence. That's actually game over. He was too concerned about us. Tried to defend midway, kind of. Uh, overshot his braking, even if he did, moving over on us like that, it was not, uh, I wouldn't say that was the best option. Could have ended in a wreck. I think we had him either way, but... That didn't feel too bad, that, the upshift then the downshift again, did it help, help the car turn more? I might start introducing that. We'll try it again next up, I'll remember. See if it helps. Slight run on the beamer, but if we want to dive him right now, probably a bit too far away. Let's just uh, make our moves smartly. Because we could catch the guys in front. But if we battle out hardcore, the guys behind are only 1.4 seconds away. And we'll get all kind of intertwined into drama we don't want. So he decides inside. Ferrari moves over. Also moves over again. So I'll go as far as to say the Ferrari, number 14, is completely at fault there. On down into the hairpin. Big crash behind. Two Porsches going at it. A little bit of dirt. Probably doesn't realise that Audi snuck up the inside there and... Both, they go into the fence. Audi with some heavy damage to the front. Number nine, too much curb again. Striking a lot of people out. Luckily, no damage to him. Will really he rejoin safely? That's a no. That's hopeless. Point two. Three, three, just set the fastest lap. Mm. Four, point nine, four. Just set the fastest lap of the session. Go down for the big, hopefully get a run for the big airpin. We could have had it there, but a little bit on the conservative side at the moment. A little more passive. See if he can make some mistake. That's off track, yes. Okay. We don't need any of them. Remember, at the stakes on the line, too high for our safety rating at the moment. I've been saying throughout the race that the Lambo is just particularly bad there. I'd say the rear end Audi would be as well. We seem to get the, a decent run on the Beamer here. This is more so where we're going to have to go for the pass, I'd say. As I say that. See, we're, we're kind of in striking distance to these guys in front, especially if they start battling. So I don't want to get held up too much with number 13 here. So we're trying to make this move without going back and forth, really.
1.3 gap still to number 11 behind. This guy really wants to race. Which I mean, it was what the fun part of our racing is, isn't it really? But we're losing like top five ahead, battling for eighth, seventh. Oh no. And that, oh no, absolutely gone. Absolutely gone. I seem to get a run on this guy most of the time. You have to do something with it if he really wants to start defending and stuff. It's off track. Oh! Pulled it back, but we lost some time at the straight. That's alright. I should... Okay, do you know what? It's probably my fault. I should have my mic connected. Uh, the settings reset itself for some reason, so I haven't. And I could just say... Dimitri, let's push ahead. Like, I'm not going to pass you. Because he doesn't know that. Or, I could say, let me pass you, so we can have a crack ahead, but is he going to let that happen? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we're going to make the move stick. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear oh. on the left. Are you trying to jam his nose up there? I thought I cleared him, but this the line he had was. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Now he's getting drafted from behind. So he's risked so much now for that one position. He's probably going to drop back further, because now he's intertangled with them, which is what I didn't want at all. But, racing is fun. Now, we're three seconds away from the guys ahead. A little bit of uh, PTSD from that corner back there every time I enter it. <laughs> so now I just... I think the problem last night was I looked at the rubber trying to maximise how much of it I could use, rather than just caring about the apex of the corner and looking to the right. 3.1 to number 12 ahead, currently in 7th. And they are all within a second of each other thereabouts, so... Battle for the next three places. So, pulling away from the guys behind, which are in a big battle now. I don't feel bad for him though, he did that to himself. Trying to poke his nose, I believe. I watched the footage back, but that would have killed us both. Trying to slam his nose up to that single file over the crest left turn back there. New fast flat for you. Not making an impression though. 3.4 ahead to 12. Yes, they're battling. Here we go. Let's have a look. We have 2 minutes 30 to go, so one more lap after this for sure. Come on boys, have a have an old battle. Look at that, second gone.
Come on. Come on now. 2.4 away. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap is 2.4 seconds. You just got the one. Oh, no. One more lap to go. Oh, no. Okay. We've got seven. Unless we throw it away like we did yesterday. Will the guys ahead let us get involved? I'll take that. I'll take that, it's alright. Trying to slam the throttle on out of the exits here. You never know, a tenth or two might uh, give us a position. Yes, they're really going at it. I'm pretty sure they made contact then. They most definitely did. Kill me, buddy. Number 12 runs a bit wide. The yellow Ferrari sneaks up the inside. I believe us a little bit of paint scraping there. Giving each other that race and room. Very good so far. This is not a corner many two cars normally go into and draw a bang. Hold on to it luckily, but lets us up the inside. Getting involved in this demolition derby. Hey, he stopped in the middle of the corner. One more lap. If we would have had the second lap like we were hoping for, we would have got him, I think. We would have got him. But I'm happy with that race. A redemption from yesterday. Oof. That last lap was interesting. These guys hit panels twice and made each other come unstuck. 